Hey guys, it's Roscoe and on the Space Couch today we're joined by the Grand Admiral because I was asked by one of my viewers to do a video on my Star Wars movie slash TV show collection which I'm very happy to do. So let's jump right into it. This is essentially in um, canonical order. So we start with this. This was, uh, I guess you'd call it the pilot episode for The Clone Wars. I thoroughly enjoyed the first appearance of Ahsoka Tano, of course, on uh, it Christophsis. And then, of course, <laughs> the rest of the Clone Wars. <laughs> or how many seasons was it? Five? And I've seen some of the season six. Obviously, we've got season seven coming soon as well on the Disney HD channel. Or whatever. Disney Plus, sorry. So then, after the Clone Wars, of course, it's Star Wars Rebels. Where he, of course, does make an appearance. But not in season one, which I really enjoy. And not in season two either, which was also great. Rebels had some of the best Star Wars storytelling of any of the various media that it is broadcast in. Um, and this is, of course, where he turns up season three, the Grand Admiral. And there he is there. What a formidable enemy he is. Very much looking forward to the uh, third volume of his memoirs coming out in a week or so. And then rounding that off, we do, of course, have season four, which, again, it had just stunning revelations. The world between worlds, the Loth walls, all that stuff. It was just perfectly done, I thought. Now, after Rebels, of course, it is the actual movies. <laughs> so this volume is all six of the movies, the prequels and the original trilogy. So episodes one through six, you know what they are. I don't have to name them. So after that, of course, there was the very long gap between Star Wars movies. And then Disney stepped in and we have the new era. That new era, of course, started with this, which is still my favourite Star Wars movie, depending on Rise of Skywalker uh, and what that is like. Though, you'll have to wonder if there's any point to the trilogy at all. Uh, the sequel trilogy, that is. But we shall just have to wait and see. Hope springs eternal. Uh, then the next one, of course, was Rogue One, which is a great movie. It has the best scene in the entire canon so far. Vader in the hallway. Ah, oh, be still my beating heart, Lord Vader. <laughs> and then, of course, there was uh, The Last Jedi, which, as I've said, there are parts that I do really like. There are things in there that are great. Visually, it's great the whole way through, apart from that scene where the Fadiers are going up the cliff. Um, but, of course, there are many things that just do not work, really, for Star Wars. And then, finally, of the movies for now, Solo, a Star Wars story, which, again, I thoroughly enjoyed. Thought it was a really good addition to the canon. Um, again, it was unnecessary, like Rogue One, of course. But I would have liked to have seen that where the whole Kira and Maul thing continues, as well as Han and Chewie meeting Jabba for the first time. Um, so that is that. But I do also have these. The special, despecialized edition of A New Hope that my brother got for me, um, taking out all of the special effects. And as you can see, it's just called Star Wars. <laughs> Have not watched this yet. I expect I'll watch this with Mike and Dean one Friday night. And then, of course, let's uh, get in the right order. Yes. We have the Family Guy Star Wars. So it's, uh, what is it? Blue Harvest with that pastiche of the classic poster, of course. Uh, they're just toppled over. And then something, something dark side. And then finally, it's a trap. <laughs> so that's everything that I have for now. There is, of course, Star Wars Resistance. Season 2 will be starting later this year. When Season 1 comes out, I will be acquiring that. And there is, of course, The Mandalorian, again, due out towards the back end of this year. And when that comes out, assuming it does come out, on Blu-ray, I'll certainly be picking that up. And then who knows what else is coming down the line. There's talk of the Cassie Landor show, whatever that is going to be. Maybe we'll get some information on that at D23 later this year. And um, who knows what else? I'm sure they will be announcing something. But there you go, guys. That is just my Star Wars TV and movie collection. As of now, it will, of course, be updated with The Rise of Skywalker 
when will that be april 2020 i expect and whatever else they've got planned and by then actually resistance season one and the mandalorian should also be out so that will perhaps require an updated version of this list please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content leave me a comment or suggestion for upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video